Joel Matip has become the latest Liverpool player to be struck by injury and faces a race against town to be fifth for Liverpool's Premier League clash with Crystal Palace. Matip was withdrawn from Friday's session at the AXA training centre in Kirby as a precaution after complaining of a groin issue. The Cameroonian hasn't yet been ruled out of Monday's visit of Palace, but with Ibrahim Akanate already absent for an extended period with a knee problem, it means Joe Gomez is on standby to partner Virgil van Dijk at centre-back for the first time since the 7-2 defeat of Aston Villa in October 2020. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp will be hopeful that Matip has avoided any serious issue as he grapples with an extended injury list during the opening weeks of the season. Thiago Alcantara is off for at least a month with a hamstring problem, whilst goalkeeper Quivine Kelliger and defender Calvin Ramsey, midfielders Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Curtis Jones and forward Diogo Jata are also sidelined. However, Naby Keita will return to the Palace game after recovering from a bout of illness, whilst Kostas Simakas may be included having resumed training following a fortnight out. With both Ibrahima Kanate and Joel Matip now to be sidelined, it is likely we'll see a centre-half partnership of Virgil van Dijk and Joe Gomez, one that has been successful in their trophy hall on Merseyside throughout the last few years. Nat Phillips is currently Jurgen Klopp's fifth choice centre-half, so we may see him make an appearance on the bench, while Seth van den Berg is thought to be close to a low move as he is reported to be sought after by four championship clubs in Watford, Burnley, Blackburn and Sheffield United, who are all said to be interested in a loan deal for the Dutch centre-half. But with the injury concerns growing, it wouldn't be surprising if the Reds were thinking about keeping Alder van den Berg as backup. We'll have to wait until Monday to see what Jurgen Klopp's team selection is, as his side take on Crystal Palace at Anfield in the 8pm kickoff.